here today and I'm excited to be showing you my first project as a design team member for Robin Marie and I'm going to be using a little bit of everything you see here so we have this lovely stamp set the mixed midi essentials also these art pop cards they are the wait for me these awesome stickers also from wait for me we have some of these tapes these are from the urban fringe collection and then wait for me arrows and i just i can't get enough of how pretty these are and i'm inspired by how all the circular elements robin marie has does such a great job of incorporating movement into all of her work and that's inspiring me today and I'm going to be using all those circular elements in my face today. So I'm just going to sketch out a face and get to some fun paint and collage work and let you watch the process. Okay, so first here I'm just doing a very quick sketch to get an idea of where I want my face. But I'm not going to be doing real detailed drawing because I'm going to focus on collage using all those little goodies. So I'm just really quickly getting my, my person here. Lots of poofy hair. All right, that's all I'm gonna do. And now, first up, these, these circles are just calling me. I can't wait to play with them. So I want to make the edge a little rough. So I'm just tearing. And then I'm thinking that needs to be kind of part of her cheek. And then I have this fun shape that could work really well up here above her eyebrow. Oh, super fun already. Okay, now I wanna do some stamping. And I'm thinking, I'm gonna go with the little kind of X marks, plus marks, whatever you wanna call those. Um, because they will add a nice texture and just kind of fill in some areas here for me. Now what I'm doing is I'm stamping where there would be shadows in the face. And you can see I'm not real worried about getting an accurate image. I'm just enjoying the texture. All right, now I love 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 this guy I love pie charts and this is pie chart esque <laughs> so I think that needs to kind of be part of her hair come down oh yeah fun all right now because I have the arrow stickers I know I want to do some arrow action so I'm gonna have it kind of falling off the page here. Oh, and I'm using a, a waterproof ink pad. It's actually a stays on ink pad that went dry and then I re-inked it with archival. <laughs> so it's a little bit of both. All right, I like this light colored one here. So I'm just gonna pop that in there. trimming the edge there okay now that gives me kind of a foundation so now it's a matter of adding lots of paint and just doing a whole bunch of creative play so I'm gonna play you a little music off and on and I'll pop in with some things to say here and there and then we'll wrap everything up together at the end 
So first off, I'm just grabbing my watercolors and I've chosen blue just because it's a favorite color to work with and um, purple is always a nice addition with blue. And it also kind of helps to pull in some of the elements from the Robin Marie stickers that I've placed on my page. So what I'm doing is just going over areas of shadow on the face and in a very loose and free way. I'm not looking for um, anything super accurate. Obviously, I'm not going for a photo realistic look here. So really just more kind of um, painterly and fun. So I'm just applying areas where the darkness would mostly hit your face. And if you're unsure about that, just look in the mirror and you can see kind of areas of light and dark on a face and then just kind of go with that cue. And I'm using lots of water, which helps kind of blend these colors out and just give a nice softness. So now I'm just kind of going over her hair here a little bit, kind of outlining it, just getting a general idea of where the shapes will lie on the page. And I'm also taking lots of color cues from these beautiful stickers. So now I'm going back over with some more of the oranges and yellows that are in the stickers and just adding some more mid-tones into the face and then also layering them on top of where I have put the shadows because that creates a really nice dimension. So with this kind of in mind of the light and the dark and the areas of shadow and highlight, I'm going to continue on with my watercolor and just sort of build out my face and the hair here. Okay, I've got all my watercolor nice and dry and now I'm going to come in with a little bit of acrylic paint. This is just a craft store acrylic paint in kind of a peachy flesh tone color. I've applied it directly to her face. I'm just going to use that as kind of my working palette. And then I have some gesso here. And what I'm doing is kind of just going over everything with a very light layer of gesso. It's very transparent and I'm pulling in some of that peach. And what that does is just sort of soften everything a bit and also bring things together and kind of unify all these crazy colors. And I love using the addition of peach because it obviously is reminiscent of a flesh tone. And I feel like it sort of brings a nice reality to the surrealness of this girl and all her crazy colors. And I just like the juxtaposition of that. And so I've worked with all my peach and gotten it kind of around the face. And now I'm applying some highlight areas with the gesso. It's going on a little thicker now. And I just used it to kind of grab the top of the nose, the whites of the eyes, under the eyebrows here, just areas where there would be highlights on a face. And now I'm just doing a little bit more blending here and just getting um, kind of just an overall unity to the page. Now I've got some of these beautiful sticker tapes and I want to incorporate some of the lovely color and pattern. So I'm tearing it and then just applying it in a collage fashion to the edge of her face, almost as part of the hair. And I'm making sure that I pay attention to where the areas of light and dark are on the stickers because that's either going to work for me or against me. And I wanted the dark areas to be where, where there would be shadow. And now that I've got this down, I'm kind of just smooshing on a nice um, creamy gelato here. 
and getting it into um, just kind of the edges of all those papers. I like the way that the gelato is playing on the rough edges of where I tore the sticker. And then I'm just kind of doing the same across the page with that color to sort of bring a balance to the whole composition. So making sure I get it over here near the arrows as well. And then just using my finger to blend that out. Now I'm going back in with a silvery gray and doing kind of the same thing and just keeping in mind that this color is giving me more of a shadow effect and so I'm using that to kind of help me where I want to kind of push back visually parts of the page and just kind of help bring a nice contrast because that really is what makes any composition pop is if you have the appropriate amount of contrast in your visual element. So a nice amount of dark and a nice amount of light is going to give your page just that nice contrast and um, dimension to it really. It's a way to kind of make things pop in a land that is 2D and we're drawing things that would be 3D if that makes sense. So I just went over there with my pit pen and now I've got a black oil pastel and just once again adding lots more of that contrast that I've been yammering on about here and just uh, blending it with my finger. Uh, now I'm going to play with a little bit more of the stamping just kind of to get some more shapes. I want some more of the circular elements that inspired me in the beginning of this piece and I'm making sure to stamp it in a way that kind of flares out from her eye so it's almost like a really crazy eyelash and then just bringing some balance by stamping that on the opposite corner of that page I'm going through some of the stamps here to just decide which ones to use and you'll notice i'm not really stamping the entire image i'm getting parts of it and enjoying just the little glimpses of the images. And I love doing that with stamps because I feel like it's a way to really make them your own and just um, combine the various images together to create a really nice visual texture. Okay, so I've got my gesso back out and I'm going inside the stamped areas and just really bringing those shapes out. The nice white is just popping everything and I love that. Adding another layer in the whites of her eyes, a little bit in the lips, and again on the nose, just building those layers of light and dark. And I'm just going to carry on in this way until I feel like I have a nice sense of light and dark in my composition.
Okay, so while all of those elements are drying, all that extra watercolor I added, I have got my Art Pop cards and I'm playing around with which one and where on the page I think would be the nicest for my interactive element where I'm going to put my journaling. And I've decided on that one. I picked it because the colors and the circular elements seem to go really nicely with what I've got going on on my page. So I'm just grabbing one of these circle stickers and I'm using it to attach it to the bottom of the page. And I'm just going to fold it up under onto the back side. I know it's back there. It'll be fine to have that sticker peeking on it. And then I'm going to grab a piece of the sticker tape and just put it on the inside. And then I have a nice little interactive element where I can stick some hidden journaling. Now to kind of bring that into my composition, I'm holding down the card just so it's nice and flat on the page. And I'm working some watercolor over both my art journal page and the card. So it doesn't look like it's just sort of floating on top. I wanted it to feel like it was part of the page. And so I'm making sure to incorporate some of the colors that were already in that card as well as colors that are already in my composition. And I'm just kind of painting over some of the elements and then continuing the circle and just really kind of working with the shapes that are there and incorporating them into the page that um, I already had going on just so that it kind of all makes sense. And making sure to kind of just um, add the colors that I'm using all around the page so that we have a nice balance in the composition. Now I've got my pencil here and I'm just continuing some of those doodles from the card around onto my page, just continuing the circles and things like that for the same reason that I did the paint. Now I wanted that one to be darker so I just grabbed my oil pastel in black there to do that and then I'm just going over it with a little bit of a wet brush to blend it and not make it look so so much like a crayon. Those can tend to look that way if you don't blend them. And I'm doing the same thing on the top. Now I've got my gesso on my brush and I am just pat patterning really. I did some plus marks and just some circles here to pull in the repeated elements from all of the circles and stamps and things I have going on. The repetition just kind of helps pull it all together. Okay, so I'm just going to continue on with that idea as well as adding in a little bit more white to just soften and brighten things up a bit.
things up and now I'm just going to pop in a little bit more contrast and you're probably wondering okay so you had contrast and then you lightened it and now you're adding it again and you know I know that's just kind of the way I roll um, but I always like the results when I do that and I find that I get a lot of extra layering and kind of visual interest that I wouldn't have gotten otherwise so I'm just going in and kind of bringing back out some of the little pops of stamping using my oil pastel and just some little um, extra bits of color here. All right, so now it's just a matter of putting on some finishing touches, kind of just bringing out certain areas, adding in some more contrast. So you can see I've got my Signo pen and this is writing over things pretty well because I sprayed it with that fixative. Um, I don't always do that, but I knew I wanted to use my Signo and it works a lot better if it's going over something like that. So I'm just coming in and kind of doodling, you know, nothing, nothing too inventive, just kind of adding some final details. You'll notice here that I adhered some scrapbook paper to the underside of this um, card that is going to have my journaling. So just to kind of bring this out, I'm going to take my pencil and just sort of sketchy around that box and I'll go back in later and add my journaling. And then I might just kind of do a little circle action just to give a little texture with the pencil and really that's about it. I feel pretty happy with where this is at. I might just kind of bring out some of the black here from these stamped areas. I just love all these organic shapes. Maybe kind of outline the arrows a bit. Oh yeah, that looks cool. So I hope this has inspired you to kind of play around and do some collage work with all of these gorgeous products. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Everyone have a great day.